very good morning to everyone today's class for the discussion is the extra oral radiographic techniques of the mandible so let us see the definition first see normally as the film is placed inside the oral cavity those films are called intra oral films as we are placing the film inside the oral cavity that's why we call it as intra oral but here in the extra oral films these techniques imply that the film is placed outside the oral cavity against the side of the face to be radiographed and the x-ray beam is directed towards it here the extra oral films are not small which cannot be accommodated in the oral cavity these extra oral films should be placed in a cassettes which are placed outside the oral cavity hence the name extra oral and here the cassette is placed at the film image receptor is placed outside the oral cavity against the side of the face to be radiographed and the x-ray beam is directed towards it so that's about the extra oral techniques what are the indications of extra oral radiographic techniques in what conditions or in what situations we have to take extra oral radiographs for the patient first one when it is not possible to place the film intraorally as during trismus see normally trismus means the patient is inability to open the mouth mainly because of spasmodic contraction of the spasmodic contraction of the trismus means inability to open the mouth mainly because of the spasmodic contraction of masticatory muscles so here the patient is not able to open the mouth hence the film cannot be placed inside the oral cavity in these conditions the extra oral radiographic techniques are used and the next one is to examine the extent of large lesions especially when the area of the pathology is greater than which can be covered by an intraoral periapical radiograph next to evaluate the skeletal growth and development mainly in the case of orthodontics we will be using this for the case of cephalometric analysis next to evaluate the status of impacted teeth to evaluate the trauma which involves entire the facial uh, facial area next to evaluate the temporomandibular joint area and these are the important indications where we have to go for extra oral radiographic techniques what are the drawbacks of these extra oral radiographic techniques or demerits here the magnification occurs due to the greater object to film distance used next the details are not well defined due to the use of cassettes and intensifying screens as in the case of intraoral periapical radiograph so the clarity and the contrast will not be as good as intraoral radiograph contrast is reduced as the secondary radiation produced by the soft tissues is more here in the case of extraoral radiographs the area where of our extent void what we are focusing is little bit more so obviously what happens the contrast will be reduced as a secondary radiation that is produced by the soft tissues adjacent soft tissues is more and one more thing is very important regarding this extra radiograph techniques the important aspect of this extra radiographic techniques is immobilization of the patient's head this is very very important the patient should not move when we are taking a radiograph it may result in blurring of the image next landmarks there are particular landmarks upon which we have to place the cassettes and we have to focus the central ray and patient placement everything is very important and these extra radiographic techniques depends upon the few landmarks like infra orbital line infra orbital and the line that is passing below the orbit is called infra orbital line next canthometer line the line that is joining the external canthus and the external auditory meatus that's like is called canthometer line 
Uh, third one is one more thing is this called it's a Frankfurt horizontal plane. Next, let us go detail about this. this is the infraorbital line. So this is the line, the dotted line represents the line that is passing through the or uh, below the orbit, hence it is called infraorbital line. Next one is canthometer line. See here a red line, a dotted line that is passing from the lateral canthus or outer canthus of the eye towards the external auditory meatus, hence it is called canthometal line. Next was this is a Frankfurt horizontal plane. See here the O and the T connecting. The O is nothing but a orbital which connects the lower margin of the eye socket. Next tragion is nothing but the T refers to the ear. A notch above the tragus of the ear or at upper margin of the zygomatic bone at that point. Next Frankfurt plane is nothing but an orbital trigion horizontal line. The line that is connecting the orbital and the trigion, trigion is called as Frankfurt horizontal line. 